Meanwhile, despite a reduction in COVID-19 cases on island, health officials remain concerned that the introduction of COVID-19 variants may prompt a more difficult-to-manage surge in cases. Jesse Leos reports on the surveillance of the Ministry of Health and Wellness in this regard and increased efforts at vaccinating more of the population. The Department of Health indicates that in the seven-day period 29th June to 5th July 2021, St. Lucia registered a daily COVID-19 infection rate of 2.2 per 100,000 of the population. This confirms a reduction compared to the period 22nd to 28th June 2021, during which a daily infection rate of 4.9 per 100,000 of the population was registered. Despite this reduction in the local infection rate, officials remain concerned about the introduction of more resilient strains of the virus to the island. In addition to the original virus, St. Lucia has been subject to 41 cases of the Alpha variant, commonly referred to as the UK variant. This variant is 24 to 70 percent more transmissible than the original. While still at bay, other variants including the Beta or South African variant, the Gamma or Brazilian variant, and the Delta or Indian variant are too close for comfort. During a live update on NTN Tuesday, 6 July, national epidemiologist Dr. Michelle Fossois says they continue to monitor regional trends to avoid variants that are likely to undermine the ability of the country to control the pandemic. We are cognizant of the fact that we may experience a, a larger outbreak. Um, the different variants have been proven to be more transmissible and so we are very wary that um, we have neighboring countries with the different variants and so although our numbers have gone down we are um, still monitoring what is happening on the ground in order to avoid um, an overwhelming surge of cases on our public health system. Currently, 10 cases of the Beta or South African variant have been registered in the region. It is 20 to 30 percent more transmissible than the original and has been shown to decrease the virus's susceptibility to antibodies and thus vaccine efficacy. Vaccines are only 50 to 60 percent effective at preventing mild to moderate disease. In the meantime, 14 cases of the Gamma or Brazilian variant have been registered in the Caribbean. It is 29 to 48 percent more transmissible than the original. However, vaccines are still effective in reducing its transmission. The Delta, or Indian variant, is causing the most alarm globally, as its level of infectivity is highest among the strains. To date, there are eight cases in the Caribbean. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar george explains that the Indian variant is not likely to be a problem for a vaccinated population as compared to others. And this is the one which is most feared at this point because it's, it's, it's a level of infectivity um, is the highest as compared to all of the others. It's, it's over 55% more transmissible than the Alpha variant, which we, which we noted here in January and February. It causes more severe disease, hospitalization, and deaths in the countries. And, but the good news is that the AstraZeneca vaccine is very effective against the, the Delta um, variant after taking your, your two doses. So the variant which we have the most concern for introduction in terms of the, e the effectivity the, of our vaccine is the South African um, variant. In addition to the mobile pop-up sites, visits to the homebound and the regular vaccination sites, partnerships with the private sector are now being forged for new vaccination locations. Immunization manager Tekla Jabatiste welcomes this development. We have also added one other component. Last week, a public-private partnership initiative was launched. The People's Discount Pharmacy has partnered with the Ministry of Health offering COVID-19 vaccines. This is the first of this kind in St. Lucia, where persons can access vaccines at their local pharmacy. We, can, we hope that other, that we could extend this sort of service to other health providers in the near future. As of news time, 30,902 individuals in St. Lucia have received their first dose of the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine, and 22,019 have received their second.
For the Government Information Service, I am Jessie Leons reporting.